Beatings Hunters. In this video, I'll explain the nature of invincibility frames, more commonly referred to as iframes. Iframes are activated at the beginning of a dodge animation, and this makes your hunter completely unaffected by damage, flinches, or interruptions, making this for a very handy tool in your arsenal. The basic rolling animation has exactly 13 frames of invincibility, which is around one-fifths of a second. And surprisingly, the heavy bowgun roll, which seems slower, actually has the same 13 frames as well. The bow charge step also has 13 frames of invincibility. For the switch axe, lance, and gun lance users, the hop offers 10 frames of invincibility, which is the least out of all the dodge maneuvers. Activating the Dual Blades Demon Mode will replace the normal dodge with a Demon Dash. This has 14 frames of invincibility. The Sword and Shield's Back Hop offers 22 frames of invincibility. And lastly, the Longsword's Foresight Slash has an outstanding 45 iframes, which is around 3 fourths of a full second. Before going into more details on iframes, we should first understand what a hitbox and an active hitbox is. In this situation, the monster is about to bite us. The hitbox is the part of the monster that deals damage. In this case, it will be Odogaron's mouth. Notice how, even after doing a dodge, the attack still hits me. This is the concept of an active hitbox. By the time my roll's iframe is over, if I am still touching the active hitbox, I will receive damage. With this understanding, it's quite easy for us to conclude that the goal in proper dodging is simple. Time your iframes to the monster's active hitbox. Next, we shall apply this concept on the monster's moves. For the purpose of convenience, I have categorized the monster's moves into two sets. Moves that you should roll through. And moves that you should roll away from. Generally, you can iframe roll through moves based on these two important factors. The move's animation should be fast, and the move's hitbox must not be too big. Take Devil Joe's Bite Attack, for example. It has a fast sideways forward animation, and the hitbox is limited to only his head. Therefore, we can easily iframe roll through this. One important thing to remember is to roll against the direction of the incoming attack. This will lessen the time your hunter's body is in contact with the active hitbox as seen here in this example. Now, watch what happens when I roll with the direction of the incoming attack. By doing so, I'm increasing the time the hunter's body is in contact with the active hitbox, which results in a direct hit. Another technique to consider is to roll through the monster's body part which has the smallest hitbox. In this example, you can see me reposition so that I will be rolling through the monster's tail. By understanding these concepts, we can then apply these techniques to the following types of moves.
Next, we'll take a look at moves that you should roll away from. Generally, you roll away if a move has any of these characteristics. It has a large hitbox, meaning your roll won't be far enough to clear this move. Or, it has a long active hitbox, meaning your iframes won't be enough for the whole duration. Here are some of those examples. And finally, we will take a closer look at the Evasion Mantle and the Evade Window skill. Both of these increase your iframes. The Evade Window skill increases your iframes in an incremental manner per skill level. The Evasion Mantle increases your iframes by a fixed amount and disregards any points in the Evade Window skill. Go ahead and pause this video to have a closer look. With the Evasion Mantle equipped, dodging will become significantly easier, and you could use your dodges offensively to position yourself for better opportunities of attack. The Evasion Mantle also gives you enough iframes to be able to dodge moves that you normally won't be able to dodge with base iframes. Although these concepts and guidelines are useful, they are not applicable 100% to all the monster's moves. You'll need to do some experimenting yourself on which moves can or can't be iframed. As for the Evade Extender skill, I didn't bother including this in the tutorial because it doesn't give you additional iframes. It only makes your hunter roll further. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of our guides and content, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy hunting!